Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit back today with another Stage 1 Overwatch video. This time is Bastion. This is some classic Bastion gameplay right here, guys. Bastion is a robot who transforms into a turret. And 90% of Bastion's gameplay is spent in his turret form. So this right here, this is primetime Bastion gameplay, guys. What you're seeing right now is Bastion locking down an entire corridor, which the enemy team has to pass to get to the first checkpoint and control this point A, which we're currently defending, although we're pushed up quite a bit here on the map Numbani. Now, the first thing you do when you see Numbani come up when you get into the beta is you lock in Bastion, you sit in this spot here, and then you sit in the spot that I'm going to show later on in the video, and then you win the game because Bastion is god tier. <laughs> and it just so happens that my first three stage one videos have all been characters that. Before the beta started, I classed as God Tier. So McCree, Zarya, Bastion were the three characters that I predicted would be God Tier. They are God Tier, and this is why you're getting these Stage 1 videos first by them, because they're good. They're good, so that means you can get good gameplays with them easily enough. So let me tell you a little bit about Bastion for those who don't know. Bastion uh, has a shift ability which transforms into turret mode and transforms back into robot mode if he's already in turret mode. What this does is it makes him immobile. So he's sitting here, he can rotate basically within his field of view and then he has this shield in front of him and his shield has a certain amount of hit points as well. So the enemies have to destroy that shield before they want to kill him from the front. The best option as you just saw there from Tracer was to blink behind and pulse bomb me to death because that's pretty hard to dodge as a Bastion. Pretty slow guy and if you try and stand up and dodge a pulse bomb it's not going to work really. So she basically grinded out that ultimate, used her ultimate on me just to get rid of me, the Bastion player, because Bastion is a prime target for you to take out in these objective game modes. You have to take down the Bastion before you can really do anything at all. Honestly it feels exactly like that old Titanfall meta where they would have a chain gun Titan sit on the flag and just protect it from every single pilot that tried to run it. Every single pilot that tried to pick up a flag would instantly die. And that's the same sort of playstyle Bastion has, is just stand there and melt people who run into his line of sight. This is Bastion's ultimate right here. He transforms into a tank. Now that's cool. That's a cool ultimate, he transforms into a tank. What it does is it greatly increases his health, it greatly increases his armor as well, does crazy damage, so he just goes around blowing people up. Best at close range, I guess, but he can get taken out in this tank form. Like, I always find that he is easy to kill as well when he's in this tank form. He's a big target, he doesn't have any of those other tank abilities like shields or anything like that. It's literally just HP that you have to blow through to get rid of his tank form. I'm really glad that this gameplay is pretty short because this is Bastion. This is all that there is to Bastion. It's basically finding the best position on each map at each control point. Even in payload maps you can set up some pretty decent positions to defend with Bastion. And then once you've got that down it's just about pointing, clicking, holding down the trigger. You've got 200 bullets in your clip. You don't really have to reload that much. It is a machine gun and, and you're just melting people constantly. What you need is your other teammates there obviously to, to be that distraction. Ideally you want someone who is looking out for your back because tracers can blink behind you, reapers can teleport behind you, sometimes people can just like jump behind you like Farah or Winston or something can just jump over you and start hammering you in the back or in the head with rockets and whatever else. It's nice to have some cover, I like some Symmetra turrets, there were some Symmetra turrets covering me at the first spawn there at my first position on this map, so that was cool. Symmetra turrets you saw slowed down the Lucio, which allowed me to get the kill on him before he managed to get around behind me and forced me out of position. It's all about just locking down positions with Bastions, there's not much else to it. He does, if he does take damage, which usually when he does take damage he's probably going to die, and if he luckily survives taking that damage, because if he does take damage it usually means someone's behind him and is going to kill him because he can't really move, but if he survives he has a self repair button so he holds E and can self repair him and he can do this while he's in turret form, he can do this while he's in normal form the gameplay is incredibly exciting guys let me tell you that right now Blizzard has outdone themselves with making every character just as fun to play as each other character in the game no sarcasm at all here but the thing I actually brought up the other night there in a live stream was the fact that Blizzard needs to make sure that the boring characters are not the strongest characters in the game because 
I don't want to have to play the boring characters because they're the strongest characters if I want to win the match. I want to play the fun characters that are also the strongest characters. Being forced to play Bastion every round is, is not good, is not fun at all. But usually that's on my team, usually it's not me that's the Bastion player anyway. I leave that to someone else to play the Bastion while I fly around the skies with Farah or something more fun than that. But that was a pretty decent Bastion gameplay I have to say. Got play of the game, got some nice multi kills there, got pretty much locked down and ended it on the first control point. So sorted guys, Bastion gameplay 101 right there for you. Hope you guys enjoyed that stage 1 Bastion gameplay and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye.